There's an alien object near Mars, and it's covered in battle scars. It's called 3i Atlas, and for weeks we were told it was just a comet. It doesn't look like a typical comet where you see a beautiful tail of dust uh, stretching away from uh, the direction of the sun. But you won't believe what a new AI analysis has found hidden in its light. We're not talking about random asteroid hits. We're talking about patterned scars. And the galaxy it came from? It's a ghost. Astronomers can't find it. This object is a clue to a cosmic mystery from a place beyond our maps, and it's about to vanish forever. Mars's mysterious neighbor. Now, as this mysterious object barrels towards Mars at a staggering speed of nearly 36 miles per second, Earth's most powerful telescopes are becoming helpless. Day by day, it slips deeper into the sun's blinding glare, soon to be lost from our view. The official story is that we are witnessing a uniquely active interstellar comet. But the thing nobody tells you is that a new experimental AI has been analyzing the strange light from this outburst, and its findings are, to put it mildly, deeply unsettling. The AI's analysis of the spectral data and the way light reflects off the object's core has generated a preliminary surface model. This model shows not a random potato-shaped rock, but an object bearing what the system has flagged as high-confidence, non-random surface indentations. In other words, impact scars. And these aren't the familiar craters left by asteroids. The patterns are too regular, too symmetrical. The most shocking fact is what happened when astronomers tried to trace its origins. Every object in space has a backstory written in its trajectory. When they wound the clock back on 3 I Atlas's path, they expected it to point toward a distant star system or nebula. Instead, its path traces back to a cold, dark patch of the sky. A complete and total void. There are no known galaxies, no star clusters, nothing for trillions of miles. It's as if this object emerged from absolute nothingness. So now, the questions are piling up. Why is this supposed alien traveler breaking every rule in the book? Is its bizarre behavior revealing some new kind of cosmic physics? Or is it hiding something far stranger? What secret is unfolding in the darkness near Mars? And can anyone on Earth decode its message in time? Right now, 3i Atlas is about 186 million miles from the Sun, and it's closing in fast. To put its speed into perspective, it would cross the gap from the Earth to the Moon in a little over an hour, a journey that took the Apollo astronauts three full days. It's moving more than twice as fast as any planet in our solar system. And it's not slowing down. As it nears its closest point to the Sun at the end of October, its speed will climb to an incredible 42 miles per second. What many overlooked in the initial excitement was its brightness. It has reached what astronomers call a magnitude of 12, the faintest stars you can see with your naked eye are around magnitude 6. The jump from what it was to what it is now represents a 40-fold increase in brightness, and yet it remains a ghost, invisible unless you have a serious telescope. This glow is the only clue we have, and it's this very light that the AI used to uncover a story far more complex than we ever imagined. The AI's model of the scars is still being debated, but the object's origin is not. It truly came from nowhere we can explain. The billion dollar snapshot. The moment 3i Atlas broke from its predicted path, a frantic race against time began. Observatory schedulers across the globe found themselves scrambling as the comet's light curve, the graph of its brightness, shot almost vertically upward. This wasn't just a scientific curiosity anymore. It was an all-hands-on-deck astronomical emergency. Major facilities triggered what are known as Target of Opportunity protocols dropping their scheduled research to pivot toward this single enigmatic point of light. The legendary Hubble Space Telescope, with its observation schedule booked years in advance, carved out an emergency imaging slot. Its powerful lens captured stunning ultraviolet and optical frames, showing the green coma ballooning outward hour by hour. Instrument teams had to recalibrate on the fly, fighting to get detailed images without the comet's shocking brightness, overwhelming the telescope's sensitive detectors. Not far behind, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, the most advanced observatory ever built, secured a rare, committee-approved window for mid-infrared spectroscopy. 
On August 6th, its instruments locked onto the coma, breaking down its light into a chemical fingerprint. The results sent a shockwave through the astronomical community. It detected an unusually high ratio of carbon dioxide to water, about 7.6 times more CO2 than expected. For solar system comets, water is almost always the dominant ingredient. This was a massive clue. This object wasn't just from another star. It was built differently, forged from materials that are rare in our own cosmic neighborhood. This finding, immediately flagged to the Minor Planet Center, set off a fresh wave of panic and excitement, with research teams begging for more telescope time. You see, and you can see this everywhere in science, one shocking discovery just leads to more questions. The strange chemistry gave more weight to the AI's controversial findings. Could this bizarre composition explain the impact scars? Could a CO2-rich object be more susceptible to damage from, say, advanced weaponry than a water ice one? The speculation began to run wild in private channels. Ground-based observatories joined the chase. The Gemini South Observatory in Chile captured a rapid sequence of optical and near-infrared snapshots, monitoring subtle changes in the coma's structure and color. NASA's All-Sky Infrared Surveyor, SphereX, adjusted its scanning pattern to catch brief glimpses of the comet's evolving emissions. Coordinating these billion-dollar assets required a level of global choreography usually reserved for planetary defense exercises. Observatory directors juggled requests from competing science teams. Data pipelines ran 24-7 to process and distribute the raw images and spectra. The sense of urgency was sharpened by the approaching blackout. Soon the comet would slip into the sun's glare from our perspective, making it completely invisible to any telescope on or near Earth. The last usable data sets would be the final record from humanity's home world. With every passing hour, the window was closing and the pressure mounted to squeeze every last photon of information from this vanishing target. The final images before the blackout were the clearest yet, but they only deepened the mystery of the scars, a ringside seat to history. Just as Earth's view of 3I Atlas began to fade, the solar system offered up a backup plan, Mars. The red planet, with its small fleet of international orbiters, was about to get a ringside seat. When Earth's telescopes are blinded, Mars becomes our best and only observatory. Suddenly, spacecraft designed to study Martian geology and atmosphere were being retasked for an entirely new mission, to track an interstellar object that wasn't part of anyone's original plan. HiRISE, the super-powered camera on NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, is famous for its breathtakingly detailed images of the Martian surface. It can spot objects as small as a kitchen table from orbit. In theory, HiRISE could be the first to get a direct photograph of 3I Atlas's nucleus, potentially confirming or debunking the AI's model of the impact scars. But the thing nobody tells you is how hard this is. Tracking a tiny object moving at 42 miles per second from millions of miles away pushes the orbiter's hardware and software to their absolute limits. Teams at JPL ran countless simulations, trying to calculate the perfect exposure time. Too short, and the image is just a faint smudge. Too long, and the camera could be permanently damaged if the sun drifts into its view. The stakes couldn't be higher. Then there's Europe's Mars Express orbiter. Its specialty is wide-field stereo imaging, perfect for capturing the full three-dimensional sweep of the comet's enormous coma and tail. Its color filters can help separate the dust from the gas giving scientists clues about the object's structure. The ExoMars Trace, Gas Orbiter, or TGO, brought its own set of high-tech tools. Its imaging system, CASIS, was retasked to photograph the coma in multiple color bands, tracking changes in its brightness and shape. But its most important instrument is NOMAD, a suite of spectrometers designed to sniff out faint gases in Mars's atmosphere. By aiming NOMAD at 3I Atlas, the team hoped to confirm the sky-high CO2 levels and search for other chemical signatures, perhaps isotopes or compounds that could only be forged in a truly ancient, alien star system. NASA's MAVEN mission joined in with a different focus. Its instruments measure how the solar wind, the stream of particles flowing from the sun, interacts with the comet's gas cloud. 
This data could reveal whether the eerie green glow is being powered by more exotic physics than we currently understand. Mission control centers in America and Europe held emergency meetings, weighing the risks of diverting these priceless instruments from their primary missions. Every observation was a tense negotiation between engineers, scientists, and project managers. Software patches were beamed across millions of miles of empty space to give the orbiters new tracking capabilities. No single spacecraft could capture the full story, but together, this robotic fleet formed a synthetic observatory, ready to piece together the puzzle. As Earth fell silent, the responsibility for decoding this interstellar message passed to these robotic eyes at Mars, the scars of the void. So, how exactly did an AI discover scars on an object millions of miles away, hidden inside a glowing cloud? The thing is, this wasn't a simple photograph. The AI used a technique called spectral deconvolution and light curve inversion. It took thousands of data points, from the intense brightness of the initial outburst to the subtle chemical fingerprints captured by the James Webb telescope, and essentially ran the physics in reverse. By modeling how light would scatter off different shapes and materials, it constructed the most probable model of the nucleus hidden within the green haze. The result was jaw-dropping. Instead of a lumpy, natural-looking asteroid, the model showed an object with several large, strangely symmetrical indentations. They were not round-like craters. Some were elongated, others almost triangular, arranged in a pattern that seemed anything but random. What many overlooked is that these scars appear to be incredibly old. Analysis of the light reflecting from inside these grooves suggests the material there has been exposed to the harsh radiation of deep space for billions of years longer than the rest of a surface. This implies the impacts, or whatever created these marks, happened a very, very long time ago. The discovery sent the scientific community into a quiet frenzy. Many people are crazy about the idea of alien technology, but this was different. It wasn't a sleek starship. It looked more like a piece of ancient cosmic wreckage, a battered relic that survived something catastrophic. The most disturbing piece of the puzzle, however, remains its origin. When astronomers map an interstellar object's trajectory, it's like following a set of footprints back in time. Those footprints should lead somewhere, but the path of 3 I Atlas leads to a place called the Local Void, a vast expanse of nearly empty space bordering our own Milky Way galaxy. It's one of the emptiest places in the known universe. To have an object of this size emerge from that void is like finding a single grain of sand in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, with no clue how it got there. There's no galaxy it could have been ejected from, no star it could have escaped. This has opened the door to some truly wild possibilities, forcing us to ask what this silent traveler has witnessed. One incredible theory suggests 3i Atlas is a ghost, a lonely remnant from a galaxy that existed billions of years ago. Imagine an entire galaxy being torn apart, merging with another in a cosmic dance of destruction. Most of its worlds were consumed or scattered, but a few orphans like 3i Atlas were flung into the endless void, destined to wander alone for an eternity. It would be a survivor carrying the unique chemical signature of a home that no longer exists. Another, more fringe idea, pushes the limits of imagination. What if it's a piece of debris from some ancient, long-forgotten conflict that raged in the silent darkness between galaxies? Could the deep scars gouged into its surface be evidence of that war? Are we looking at shrapnel from a cosmic battlefield? The object isn't talking, but its strange chemistry, its battle-worn scars, and its impossible origin story paint a picture of a violent past and a journey of unimaginable length and solitude across the cosmos. It's a messenger with a story we may never fully understand. Did we just witness a natural wonder? Or is this battered relic from an empty void a warning of something we can't yet comprehend? Let us know your theory below. Like and subscribe for more cosmic mysteries.